Hey guys. Thank y'all for all the Father's Day wishes. Appreciate that. Oh, thank you for the dap, Shannon. How are you guys doing today? Y'all gotta forgive me. I'm still kind of lazy, man. I had uh, I had some breakfast a little early. I slept late today, and I had some breakfast early, and then I started playing Overwatch with Drax, and I'm just not fully like pow energetic yet. I'm trying to wake up. <laughs> oh man. So yeah, I decided that I was gonna play some Minecraft today. It's been a few days since I've um, I've been home. I came back from E3. Uh, not yesterday, day before yesterday. I was back Thursday. No, today is Sunday, huh? Yeah, I've been back a couple days now. Um, but I came back from E3 on Thursday, um, and, uh, I realized that I didn't have much Minecraft coming out except for the UHC stuff. So I wanted to play catch-up. So how's y'all today? How's y'all doing? I am a dad. I'm not really a father. Um, I help care for my stepdaughter, which is my wife's uh, daughter, and her son is grown, grown and gone. But uh, I still claim him, so I'm kind of, I'm kind of a dad. I celebrate Father's Day because <laughs> I'm very proud of him, you know. All right. So you guys are gonna freak out, right? Something huge has happened. Huge, monumental, so big. For me, in personal growth, you guys are going to be absolutely astounded. Are you ready? I'm organized. Organization has happened. I know, it's going gonna, it's gonna to rain cats and dogs. So, I'm hoping that this helps me be a little bit more efficient in the streams because I realized that when all my storage was out here, I was just like going through stuff, looking for things, so... Anyway, <laughs> okay, so what I want to do today is kind of finish filling out the top area. Um, I don't think I'm going to have time to get to any sort of landscape in the day. I really don't have enough materials to do it anyway, um, but I need to finish filling out this and I want to work on some lighting first and then possibly a little bit more furniture and stuff and we might even work on the downstairs. So. It's it's organized. I mean, you should have seen it before. Before it was really really bad. <laughs> so uh, at least things are organized and in their like in their perspective uh, places grouped as I see fit. And I even emptied out a lot of my inner chest. There's still a few things in here, but uh, anyway. So we're gonna start by using some of the same blocks that we had before. Um, where Hermitcraft is running 1.10 now. Uh, or 1.10, however you want to call it. Uh, so we have some bone blocks to mess around with. Um, and I think I want to start with some hanging lighting here. So the lighting tracks will be... I think this is... Yeah, this is a two wide deal. So they're probably going to hang down and they'll be two and two. So I'm going to try some old school hanging lighting that I used to use. All right, let's see here. So I still have, uh, let's see. I have plenty of glowstone that I could use, but I think for the upstairs, we're gonna stay trod and true with the, um, uh, with the sea lanterns. And we're going to need some, probably some dark oak stairs. I'm gonna remember what all this stuff is at sooner or later. Uh, let's go ahead and take some wood and some slabs as well. And we're going to need some fence posts. I think I'm going to do... Let's just do some regular wood right now and make... We're going to come down... Well, we might want to do... I think maybe dark oak, actually. I think dark oak fences. Yeah, dark oak fences it's going to be. So let's grab some dark oak and figure out how we're gonna do this. Thank you for the Father's Day wishes, you guys. I really appreciate it. Okay, so, fences, I believe, are still like this. Yes. Uh, all right, so we got nine. That is probably not gonna be enough. Let's um, make some more sticks. All right, this ought to be enough, actually. 
Okay, 33. That's beautiful. That's beautiful. Alright, so we're gonna need some blocks to pillar with. Um... Actually, look, these are some of the bone blocks if you guys haven't seen them yet. Let me go ahead and place them for you. Check them out. I like the way they connect, like the textures. It's a good, like, column design. And side by side, they look pretty good too, but you can also flip them. So you see that, um, you see how they have that. And you break them, just normal. You craft them with just bone meal and a three by three grid. So bone meal in all the spaces and it'll make one bone block. It's pretty good. Uh, you can also uncraft them. I do believe, yep. So you can uncraft them into nine bone meal, which is pretty sweet, I think. All right, so let's see here. Where did I even have them? In here. <laughs> all right. Yeah, Juby.com is usually where all my music is. For, for at least for Minecraft, what I use, so. All right, let's see. I'm glad you got to catch me too, Minap. Thank you. All right, so we got all the stuff that we need for lighting. Now we just need something to pillar with. Let's see, where was my stone? Stone bricks, and we'll just need a couple of um, stone brick slabs just to be able to get up and down. All right. I noticed everybody here. Y'all relax. I see chat. Unless there's like 500 people in here, I could usually freaking catch everybody's comments. At least if, you know, not not everything, but I, I pay a lot of attention to chat, at least for Minecraft. If it's not Minecraft, it's kind of hard to pay attention to. Um, okay, so how are we going to do this? We going to... Let's see what we can do here. Let's go with... We'll start on the second one out like this, and then we'll go... That's probably far enough right there. Okay. So we need to come down probably about... We'll start with... Four. Let's see how that goes. I don't want it to be too low. Hmm. Maybe one more, yeah, because that won't even be lower than the current um, the current uh, clay level. All right. Let's try this. Let's try this. My favorite dessert, man. How come we start with the hard questions already? Good lord. No, dessert, seriously. Um, either... Man, that's a hard question. I think my favorite dessert would probably have to be tiramisu. This tiramisu is very good. Very good. How about that to start with? Is that low enough? It probably is because we don't need it to be so low because of the fact that we're on half slabs. It just needs to stay illuminated. So let's move some dark oak around. Have you all ever had uh, tiramisu? Tiramisu is crazy good, man. Oh, fried ice cream is probably one of my other favorites. I like fried ice cream a lot. Mexican desserts have always been delicious. Like, I have, um, I've had, what's you call that stuff? Um, sopapillas? Oh man, those are good. So good. All right, I actually think, I'm starting to think that I probably won't like the way that, I might like it, hold on. Might be too big. Might be too big. Let's just put it all together first and see how it looks. I don't know. I think if I had a couple more in here, it might be a little bit better. Dana's a savage. <laughs> or I'm going to... Uh, are you following the Euro? Uh-uh. 
I'm not following the euro. Mexican dessert tastes like? Well, fried ice cream is a pretty much where they take a regular scoop of vanilla ice cream and they dip it. They it's It's got to be really frozen hard, right? And they dip it in like an egg batter, kind of like you would fry stuff in. And then they fry it. They, they, they cover it in frosted flakes, like uh, corn flakes for uh, kind of like a crust. And they fry it for a few seconds. Oh my god, it's delicious. Okay. So, naturally, this type of light will not fit exactly on here. So, I might have to section off this whole thing right here. Even though the, the ceiling has the... Uh, even though the end of the house has the glass right here. I'm going to have to to play around with this idea. So, as far as spacing goes, this is going to be kind of awkward. But i got to kind of measure it out here. Apple... Pie with egg butter is awesome. I don't know what egg butter is. Are you talking about egg batter? Yeah, sopa is are really good, man. Sopa peas are delicious. Sopa is with like butter and honey. Oh my god. They're good. All right. Let's see how many spaces this is. So. We've got 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. And the light is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. So, and it is how much? Hmm, 6. So if I would skip 2 and do 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, then I would have spacing 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 in between. That sounds pretty good. I hope you guys followed me through that. I, I don't guess it matters that that much. So it's going to come out one right here. And so right here is where my... Um, right here is where my fence is going to come out. Like that. I'm just going to mark it like so. Okay. So the other fence would be three from that so one two three I think that's how it went how did I do that yeah one two no one two and then bam so one two and then bam all right the rest I could kind of take down because I could gauge the Barry White of Minecraft <laughs> my voice is a little deep I can make I can make it really deep Y'all should hear me in the mornings. In the mornings, it's like, what the heck? <laughs> He's the devil. And I'm really not. It's just super deep. Okay. Let's go up. No, I don't want a torch right there. Okay. So right on top of here is going to go fence. I'm not going to have enough fence. What's ahead? Hey, what's happening, Mytholia? Thank you so much for the resubscription. Thank you so much for the support. I appreciate you. Some dap to Mytholia in the chat, please. Okay, so we got one, two, and then one. All right, this is where it's going to fall. Let's go down and make some more spruce um, fence, shall we? Don't go too deep, Z. I won't go too deep. <laughs> Dana, Dana's fussing everybody. <laughs> All right. What's up, Randy? How's it going, man? So I got a story to tell you guys. Um, this is going to be semi... It's not going to be really adult related, but it's a story that I would usually share with adults. It's not like it has like adult content in it. It's just concerning adult type matters. Uh, but I think... I think you guys are mature enough and old enough to appreciate it. So, I recently went to E3. If y'all don't know what that is, it's an electronics expo convention. It's a really, really cool time of year where all of the biggest game developers and technology companies get together in Los Angeles at a convention center and show off all of their new and shiny products like uh, the big game companies like Ubisoft, Beth Bethesda, um, EA, 
all these people get together and they put on a trade show. So the convention has like every big new game coming out and stuff like that. It's an amazing thing. It's my biggest convention I've ever went to. And I was absolutely like, I was in love with the, my time there. It was, it was really, really cool. Um, while I was there, I stayed at a hotel called, uh, what was this hotel called? The O Hotel, which is like, it's kind of weird, okay? It's like this massage parlor type hotel. It's kind of, <laughs> kind of different. I'm a country boy, so I'm not used to stuff like that. And I didn't know it was like that or whatever, but it was kind of weird. Like the guy that the guy was at the front desk. Do I have a toupee? No, silly. I have hair. Gosh. <laughs> um, but the uh, the guy at uh, the guy at the front desk had like this open collar v-neck shirt with this pullover duster jacket it was i don't know it was bizarre okay anyway they were really really nice it's just it was it was different than what i was used to like typically you go into a hotel and you see like these people with these nice suits or dress nice they kind of look like they work at a bank um uh and this place was a little bit more laid back and like trendy so to speak so anyway uh, stayed at the O Hotel, and no, I didn't order a massage for those of you that are uh, <laughs> that are curious about it. Um, let's see, is this four? Yes, that is four, and that is one, two, three, four. Oh no, I got one more to go down. All right, so I go to I, I I went to stay at this hotel. First of all, the first day my flights were delayed all day long, so I missed the entire first day of E3, which sucked. Okay. Thank you, uh, Joe Chaz. The place is looking great. I appreciate it. Um, so I um, I stayed at the O Hotel, and the the first night I got there was really really late. Like I said, my flights were delayed the whole time, so I ended up getting there, and I was like, um, it was I don't know, 8 p.m. at night. The convention had already had the majority of their uh, the activities done for the day. Uh, there was probably a little bit of aftermath going, but I didn't even try because I was I think I was a mile and a half away from the convention and I didn't I was I was by myself So I didn't want to walk anywhere and plus I kind of had jet lag from flying and the time zone shift and stuff like that So I ended up just um, I said, you know what? I'm gonna get a bite to eat I'm gonna have a couple of cocktails and I'm gonna go to sleep and wake up first thing in the morning and start fresh again, right? so here I am by myself in big Los Angeles. The, the, the airport, LAX, probably had more people in my terminal than people that live in the town that I live. So um, it, was, it was big. It was like country came to town for real. All right. I think that is much too close, you guys. I think I totally, I think I totally whiffed on that. If I were to, yeah, I did. I need to come at least like three more. Holy cow. All right. Uh, but anyway, I'll fix that. Uh, so I was, I was, I was pleasant. Oh my gosh. Happy Father's Day. Best wishes, Zuljan. Thank you so much, ADT for life. I really, really appreciate the support, buddy. Thank you. Um, so, uh, where was I? <laughs> it kind of messed me up. Um, so... I, I, I went to the bar and first of all, it was this ritzy type bar, like really, really like the up, the, the drinks were upscale. They didn't have anything. So like if you would have went up there and asked for a domestic beer, like a Bud Light, uh, you probably wouldn't have got it because uh, they, they didn't serve it. <laughs> they served like all these uh, select import beers and these fancy drinks and stuff like that. Well. I, I drink, uh, I like spiced rum and Diet Coke. That's like one of my favorite drinks. And I usually like wine, but at a place like that, wine is usually incredibly expensive. So I decided not to get wine. And I, uh, I had a couple of cocktails. Now, the a lot of the way that people measure uh, their, the I guess, how, how much to drink is by the glass size. So in bars, um, Everybody kind of uses the same glass. So if you go to a bar and you order like um, a rum and coke, you're gonna get um, a regular size rum and coke. Like it's 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 portioned out by 
parts, but most of the time it's like by ounces. So I think it's an ounce and a quarter of a sh is a shot. Uh, let me go get some ender pearls here. No, I'm not gonna. I'm just gonna go ahead and uh, climb. Uh, so everything's measured by a shot. So you can pretty much go to a bar and order a rum and coke and know that you're gonna get a shot of rum um, with some with some coke in it. Well. Uh, the glass size that they were using here, these are some fancy glasses and they were a little bit larger than what you would normally think would be a bar. But I saw her pour two shots of liquor in it, so I was like, well, I guess the amount of liquor in it is, is what would be like two drinks or a double, which is fine. Um, I think it cost $14 for the cocktail, so uh, in my opinion, I'm glad they gave me uh, <laughs> two shots for my money. So... I had uh, a rum and coke, and they didn't have the regular stuff. I usually drink Captain Morgan, and they didn't have Captain Morgan, but they did have a spiced rum, and it was delicious. The drink was really, really good, so uh, I was really happy with it. Well, she asked me if I wanted another one, and I said yes, and I had a second one. Tasted exactly the same. It was really, really delicious, and while I was drinking it, I decided that I was going to have a little bite to eat. They had some weird stuff that I didn't know what it was, but they also had some gourmet macaroni and cheese. Which was absolutely delicious, by the way. Um, but while I was eating the macaroni and cheese, I finished up my second cocktail. And I was starting to get a little bit buzzed. And then the bartender offered me a third one and she brought it to me. Um, now, I drank probably about three sips of the third one. And then I started feeling really drunk. This did not happen like normal intoxication happens, okay? It happened quick. And when I tell you quick, it's almost like I felt like I was drugged. So, I don't remember a whole bunch of what happened after that, but I remember I knew something was wrong and I needed to go to my room. So I went upstairs and I remember taking the elevator upstairs, I'll put it to you that way, and the next day, I woke up at 3 o'clock in the morning in my hotel room. Absolutely, like, my memory was white. Wow, I'm loving the UHC videos. Keep up the great work, except for the no video. Thank you so much, Eagle Fam. I appreciate it, bud. Um, why am I not... Why can I not jump anything? Dana, stop. What's happening? All right. I had, um... What the heck is going on? Am I lagging or something? Hold on. I must be. Dana, stop. Alright, I think my uh, my voice attack had kind of went crazy or something. Let me let me kill it. Just in case something's happening. For some reason, my controls were acting kind of foo. They still are. It's almost like my keyboard is lagging. Ah, okay, Elgato Gaming. So, that's where I was going with this. Um, hey, Dardrew, what's up, man? So, that's where I was going with this. So, I'm pretty sure I was drugged. Because, like, there's two things that lead me to believe that. One, there's when, when you're drinking alcohol, unless you're taking shots after shots, you can feel yourself progressively getting intoxicated. And this went from 0 to 60, y'all. It was like, at one minute, I was, like, smiling. And the next minute, I was, like, a zombie. Um, another thing is, when you drink too much alcohol, and you wake up in the morning, you feel horrible. You feel bad. It's a hangover. I mean, you really do. Uh, even if you do all the things that they say prevent hangovers, like drink a lot of water and stuff like that, which, don't get me wrong, helps. Um... You'll still feel the effects. You still feel like you drank too much the night before. And I didn't have any of those effects. None. I literally felt like I went to sleep and woke up. Um, another thing is, I didn't even turn off all the lights. And I could barely sleep with light on in any room. It has to be total darkness. So, I'm pretty sure I was drugged. <laughs> I'm pretty sure I was drugged. So, I'm glad I'm okay too, Shannon. Thank you. But that's just to, sh that's just to show you guys. If y'all, when y'all travel by yourselves, and I didn't tell anybody who I was, guys, so it was not like, oh, Zildjian, the big YouTuber or anything. I didn't tell anybody anything. All they knew, all they knew, and there was nobody I was really talking to at the bar, and there were quite a few people at the bar, though. Um, but the only thing that they knew is that I was in town for the convention. Um, so, yeah. 
I don't know exactly <laughs> what happened, you guys, but it was it was rough. So anyway, <laughs> word to the wise, <laughs> be very, very careful when you travel alone because it's crazy, man. Very, very crazy. Uh, I still can't believe it happened, you know, but just think, I could have woke up. I could have not woke up, first of all. Um, I could have also, like, passed out in public. You know, I could have got robbed or murdered or, God forbid, sexually assaulted. Um, but I don't think anybody wants this. None of this. <laughs> I'm not exactly the sexiest man on earth. But uh, anyway, uh, the point is, you got to be careful out there, man. Very, very, very careful because it could be... It could be bad stuff. All right, so I'm gonna kill these sconces. It's gonna be a little bit dark while I do this, but um, the lighting that I'm gonna do next is probably gonna be on a couple of pieces of furniture on this wall. So that's kind of what I'm gonna do here and probably maybe some shelving. 